Hey guys, welcome to Bald Eagle Fishing Adventures and today putting a little appetizer together. Um, a really good friend of my wife and I uh, came to a 4th of July party quite a few years back and she brought a shrimp uh, salsa cocktail and wow, it was so good. Uh, I think we had about 100 people here and I mean she brought a big old bowl of this thing and it was like gone in an hour. It was so, so incredibly good. Um, we ended up getting the recipe from her. Really, really simple to put together. And I'm really gonna show you a really easy way of putting this together. Now, I have a little twist that I'm doing on this. Um, you most certainly could just do shrimp. Um, I have, obviously. And, uh, oh yeah, Dungeness Crab. You could just do Dungeness Crab this way too, and no shrimp. But I found both of these together yeah, boom. I mean, really incredible. So that's what I'm gonna be showing you guys today. Simple, simple, simple. Now, when she did it, she made uh, her salsa from scratch. So if any of you make your salsa from scratch, knock yourself out. Absolutely, that's a great way to go, not a problem. I just happened to find a while back uh, over here at Walmart, they carry this marketplace, <clears throat> pardon me, marketplace cilantro salsa and this stuff has got all the ingredients that you need to make a really awesome uh, salsa and it's got the right amount of heat to it um, it's not really over the top which I love over the top heat as some of you already know um, but this is good for my wife it's also good for me it's great flavor and then you could always add a little kick me up you know like I do so anyways I'm gonna show you how I put this together. And then, as far as cocktail sauce goes, um, I like using this Leroy Seafood Sauce. I've had this in one of my other videos, I think with my uh, uh, crunchy fried rockfish. And this stuff is really hard to find. Um, we used to find it years and years ago at Rayleigh's. They, don't lo they no longer carry it. They carry their barbecue sauce line, but not, not the seafood. But we buy this directly from the company now, uh, six bottles at a time, so they're case. And um, this stuff is phenomenal. Um, I'll have links about this information and where you can buy it if you so inclined. And you can just buy one bottle from the company. So um, anyways, uh, this is my go-to. But any cocktail sauce that you guys happen to like, good for you guys. All right, so let's get rolling with this. The first thing I have here is some uh, cooked shrimp. And what I did to make things really simple is this is about a pound of shrimp, roughly. I got this pre-cooked at Costco. Um, you know, they have those little uh, hors d'oeuvre platter things. I just picked up one of those. So this is pre-cooked, ready to fly. Um, then I obviously have the Dungeness crab. That's a whole crab. I would say probably about a half pound is in there. A half pound, maybe three quarters of a pound of crab. Avocado. And then I have the salsa that I just showed you guys. That's in here, and oh yeah, with the salsa, I like to drain the juice out. So we got most of all the juice out. There's just a little bit left down here in the bottom part of this thing, but it's it's minimal. Um, but you, what you want is the tomatoes and the onion and the garlic and you know all the happy happy stuff in there. So let's get this together. So first thing I'm going to do is let's get this crab meat in here. So I just put the crab meat right on in like this. Oh yeah all happy big old chunks in there you can kind of break it up a little bit all right let's, let's get all that yum yums we don't want to leave no crab behind all right there's that don't want to drop the spoon if possible all right so just break up this a little bit here just kind of a little bit like that a little bit like that just just a little bit kind of Fold this a little bit here, just to kind of get some of this incorporated already. All right, so now we're gonna add in this. And I like to add in um, just enough. I don't wanna overpower it, so maybe I'll use a, maybe about half, maybe half of one of these. Um, but let's let's just get this in here and get it kind of turned around a little bit and see what we got kind of got going on here. Don't tip it too much. The sauce is in the bottom of the blue. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Thank you for that. All right, so there's a little bit left here. I think that's probably going to be good. 
Oh yeah, this is already getting so, so happy. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna need some chips for this when you get a chance, my dear. So I'm gonna have you pause and we'll come right back. Okay, so this is all kind of incorporated now with some of the salsa in there and so forth. Now I'm going to add in a little bit of the cocktail sauce. Just give it a little drizzle, drizzle. Just about like so. Simple, simple. I mean, you really, <laughs> this, this goes so quick. So and the best thing to do is after you get all this incorporated, I would stick it in the fridge for about an hour and let all those flavors kind of incorporate. And that's, uh, that's about all you're gonna need to do. Uh, yeah, giddy up. You know what, I think, I think I'm gonna add the rest of, I can just put the rest of this in there. There's not much left anyways. There we go. All right. And they were kind of feeling a little lonely over there. I was like, oh, right, we get you all in there. All right. Oh, yeah. Okay, this right now would be just over the top delicious but we're gonna we're gonna go up a notch because you know we got to make it so it's just like blowing your mind and all that so now we're gonna add in the avocado oh yeah giddy up Let's put a little of that in there all right now we're gonna slow roll this in so we don't to completely annihilate all the avocado just kind of you know a little something something like that just a slow little roll. And it's one avocado. One okay. avocado, yes. You nice. are correct. Beautiful. Just kind of slowly fold it in. Slowly fold it in, letting it all incorporate just like so. My mouth is already starting to water. It smells right. really good. Didn't I smell it? I'm telling you, we need to get smell of vision. Okay. That's pretty much it, guys. Now, get a little chip here. Let's see how we rock and roll with this. So we take a little bit of, get a little, little something. And you can serve this uh, with a spoon and, make sure we get everything in there. I want a little avocado too. Oh, there we go. Going in, babe. Here it is. Hey, hey. Yep. Really? <laughs> this is live TV. Here we go. Oh, that was actually really tasty. <laughs> Don't fall back. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. You guys gotta try this. Mm -hmm. Wow. That is so good. Mm. Definitely for me, I would add a little hot sauce if I have my own little separate bowl. Add a little fire to it. And one of the hot sauces that I love, and none of this stuff I'm paid by, so I don't I want you guys to know this is just stuff that I use on a regular basis. But FA Ninos, this is a company out of Petaluma, and a really good friend of ours turned us on to this company. Local company out of Petaluma, fantastic on their hot sauces and barbecue sauces as well. But this, the Picasso, I mean, this stuff, when they say hot, oh yeah, giddy up. This stuff is made with habanero. So uh, yeah, you wanna just do a few drips and uh, you know, a little of something like that in a bowl, yeah, yeah giddy up, because this is gonna light you up. Um, if you get a chance and you haven't tried this and you can get it, I would urge you to. F.A. Nino's and uh, the Picasso hot. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it. We got a little appetizer thing here, and um, this can be served anytime that we had it. Like I said, it was on 4th of July, and it was just, it was so good. Nice and cold. It was great. Hot weather. But we're going to have this. Uh, we have a little Christmas party getting here in about an hour. I'm going to be serving that tonight, and uh, any other party, Super Bowl, all that good stuff. So enjoy. I hope you like it. And if you have any questions, you know, give me a shout. And if you liked all of this and you found it informative, I sure appreciate it if you subscribe, hit that like button, 
My wife and I appreciate the support. See you gang on the next video. Bye.